Hi guys, welcome back to Parv's Kitchen. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me again in the kitchen. Today what I would like to do is show you something a little bit special. However, you get the prep done, pop everything into your pot and you forget about it. It is proper grey ghost the way I've been taught by my mum. It's an absolutely wonderful dish. Everything just melts in your mouth. The flavours are fantastic and the whole spices give it a whole new dimension. Lots of layers of flavour. Um, I'm using just over half a kilo of mixed cuts of lamb. So there's neck, shoulder, leg in there. So it really benefits from that low, slow cooking. And at the end of it, you have the most gorgeous dish. My husband really enjoys karai gosht and I usually serve it to him with chapatis. So here goes, enjoy. So for the ingredients, I've got two largish medium sized onions sliced up. I've got six green chilies that I'm going to chop up roughly, two tomatoes from my freezer peeled, I've got about a two inch piece of ginger grated and about 10 cloves of garlic. In addition to that I've got the spices that you know, a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of red chilli, a teaspoon of malden salt and a teaspoon of curry powder. But because this is karai ghost, what I also have is a little bit of cassia bark, two whole black cardamoms, four cloves, and four whole peppercorns. And this is the lamb. It is a lovely three quarters of a kilo of lamb. Everything is going into one pot and it will be allowed to cook away gently for around an hour, an hour and a half until it's literally melting. So this is the easiest curry you could possibly imagine, grey ghost, and I'll let you see it once it's all in and been cooking away. Now that's everything in the pot. The onions and chilies and tomatoes have gone in at the bottom. The lamb is on top, the spices and the dried spices like the cloves and the cassia bark are all in there as well. So now it's going to cook away, like I said, for an hour, hour and a half, and I'll let you see it. Now it is bubbling away, I think I'm going to switch the gas off so that I can definitely get my point across. This is the karai ghost halfway through cooking. It's been cooking, simmering away gently for one hour. Everything, all the onions, tomatoes, everything is beginning to melt in and the lamb is cooking beautifully. I'm going to pop the gas back on again, again really low, simmer it away gently and then I'll let you see it in about 40 or so minutes. Okay. Now this is our lovely grey ghost. It's been cooking now for just about two hours. It is so tender, it's just coming apart so easily. I've taken out the dollop of coriander from the freezer, added that in, and it's just melting. Once I had cooked completely through, for the last 10 minutes or so, I've been boning the meat, which means frying it off. So not only has it cooked in its own sauce, it's also fried off in it as well. And the smell is phenomenal. So guys, that's the karai ghost already good to go. I think I'm going to have a happy choppy on my hands, which is wonderful. Um, 
I really hope you're enjoying the programs. Please do tell your friends and family, do like the programs and if you've got any comments, feel free to send them on. Take care and I look forward to seeing you back at Parv's Kitchen next weekend. Bye bye.